Well, welcome to the Mendota Ranch. Um, like the last video, I think it was the last video maybe, we talked about we got a programmer for the van. So they claim it adds uh, 85 horses, which this van needs at least that. So we're going to do a little test here on the ranch. We've got, this is the cap rock. So out here in the Texas Panhandle, we've got what's called cap rocks, and that's, that's the flat rock, and we fall down. So it's about 400 feet down to headquarters, but we're, so of course we're just going to do about a 200 foot climb. So we're going to come up the road 200 foot. I did hook um, a horse trailer on just to say, hey, we got a little bit of something. We're dragging something. I mean, I know it's not a whole lot. I don't have a horse in there because, of course, I didn't want to throw a horse down um, hauling butt up this road. But, um, yeah, so here's our first test. We go, I go down to the bottom of the hill. There, we got a spot marked at the top of the hill. This first one's going to be stock. And then after stock, then I'll put the programmer in, and then we'll do it with the extra horsepower. And all I'm going to do is tell you what the miles per hour is at the top of the hill. I'm not going to use the paddles to change gears. I'm just going to go all the way down and just lay the ears back on this thing and let her go. And let's see what happens. I don't know. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a test. So here we go. Like I said, this is the first test. This is stock mode, pulling the hill. So it's maybe a quarter mile up the hill, maybe a little farther. Got the trailer in the back. All right, no gear shifting. Here we go. All right, one, two, three, go. Full throttle. Okay, so I got this programmer from uh, Al in Engineering, Van Engineering, or something like that. It's called Rentech. Rentech. So what you do is you call them up, or you uh, order it. You send in a picture of your uh, serial number. And they program it to your van. So they claim it's 85 horses. So let's see. So first things first. No, no foot on the brake. Just push the button twice. Okay, and I've got the switch. There's a switch back here for stock or tune. So I've got it on I've got it on tune now. Okay, so now the light went from green to red. So now we just sit here until the uh, light goes from um, red to green. So it might take a couple minutes. So first run coming up here, I didn't run my paddles at all. All I did is gas it, and you know it spun the tires a little bit, taking off, which kind of surprised me since this thing is such a pup. And then coming up the hill, it felt really good till I just as soon as I started pulling that hill, it really felt that trailer. And I mean, I gained no speed coming up this hill. Actually, I think I lost speed coming up the hill, but I felt pretty good coming around that turn. So I'm gonna be curious to see with this extra horsepower, see what it's gonna do. We might be smoking it, but so we were at 36, 37 miles an hour right here at this point. Uh, this is my marker right, right where I'm at here. So gosh dang, it's a cold sun gun up here. So it's so temperature wise, we got a little bit of a wind, a little bit of a headwind coming up here, a little swirl. It's uh it's 28 this morning. It's supposed to get up to 88. So oh that's kind of crazy. Okay, so the light just turned green. So so we're clear to yank it out. Ah. So let's see if it starts now. Whoa! So, I've got I've got a low tire light now. I don't know what that means. I do know what it means, but um i'm not worrying about it right now i've got um my anti-slips on which is fine all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just go ahead and and turn it off i got a guy stopping here i saw somebody in yesterday big uh accuracy yeah that's um um Look, applied ballistics. Applied ballistics, yeah. Yeah, it was, it's been science week this week here. Yeah. All right. Y'all ready? Here we go. All right. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Oh, there we go. A little scratch. There we go. 
Alright, I'm not I'm not messing with gears, I'm letting it do it. Feeling pretty good. We're flying up the hill. I still got her pegged all the way down. Alright, almost to my mark. Right there. Alright, there we go. I have 42, 43. All right, so here we go. So okay, so let's recap here. Stock, pulling the heel, pulling the trailer up the hill, 37. With the programmer, I was 42, 43. You know, it felt a little better. It didn't feel like 85 horses. Now, to come clean on this thing, I have, I went to a race uh, last weekend and I did put this programmer in and uh so i went you know 600 miles and it's you know truthfully 86 horses 83 85 whatever they say it is it doesn't blow your skirt up i mean it's like yeah it's, it almost puts it back to where yeah this is where the van should be stock like when you go buy one this is how much power it needs at stock my opinion to me it'd be if you had another 85 horses on top of this then you'd be kind of like okay now we're somewhere uh, now we're kind of getting some horsepower but uh you know that was fifteen hundred dollars is it worth it you know to me it is because I, I was i thought driving it back it you didn't have it wasn't like you were just standing on the gas the whole way trying to pass somebody it would actually kind of move out and go down the highway a little bit so fuel economy i didn't really check i you know gas wise i didn't check it I'm sure I suck more gas, but this thing only got like a 20-gallon tank, so it seems like you're you're stopping and filling up all the dang time. Um, I didn't even know I didn't even check fuel mileage on the way back, so I can't I can't comment on that. But and I really don't care about fuel mileage. I I, I care more about you know you don't want to be the guy going down the highway at 60 miles an hour when everybody else is doing 75. So you want to be the guy doing 80 because this thing is a dog off off the uh, off the show, showroom floor. It's a dog. It's like, geez. You know, I, maybe I'm used to more horsepower, but. All right, well, there you go. There's the van deal. The only other thing else I did is I changed the glass uh, sink cover to a, a wood cutter one, which means less noise. So there you go. I'm happy, though. I'm, I'm not going to give the programmer back. I like it. So this kind of wraps it up with this van. We're just going to go to using it now. I mean, I pretty much got everything on there that I want. I'm sure we'll add one or two more things. Nothing big. But, uh. Man, I'd enjoy it. I, I'd enjoy your comments on the van. Like everybody has a good idea. My plan is is to run this van for at least a year, and within that year, I'm gonna step up to the 170, and I'm gonna go lithium batteries, and hopefully, I can come up with more horsepower. But um, you know, it's kind of it's just like it's like anything else. You kind of get your first one under your belt, and you live with it, and then you build the next one like you want it. So. That's my plan. I like it. I'm not going to trade it. I'm not going to give it away. Yeah. So thanks for following me. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, The Mendota Ranch. See you.